This is knockout. You're in the ring, Greg Peterson. Tonight, we are going to talk about on, on tonight's show a conversation. Actually, it started with a Facebook post uh, that I posted about my congressional candidate, Morgan Philpott, who's running out here in Utah. And I was very unhappy. I'm a conservative. I like a lot of his views, almost everything I agree with him on. Uh, I want to support him. Um, in fact, I searched my residence from my other home to this one so that I could vote for him. My registration, voter registration to this county from my, my other residence. And i tell you something. I want to like this guy. I told him this. But I'm really unhappy about his opposition or his previous opposition to a federal term limits amendment to our Constitution, which absolutely has to happen. It's going to be a constant theme to this show. In fact, Tyler, if we have a show that doesn't mention the Term Limits Amendment, please correct me, because we've made a mistake. I'm telling you, this is the most important issue. If we don't clean up these dirtbag, lifelong, scumbag politicians, if we don't eliminate Republicans and Democrats who serve 40, 45, 50, 55 years in Congress, we are never going to correct the pork, the deficit, uh, the balanced budget amendment will never pass. We are never going to get through the real needed reforms that we need to, to get through. We're not going to get it done. And it also, it does something else. The term limits amendment, I told this to, to my... Uh, well, first, I got phone calls when I posted my opposition uh, to him that I was a conservative and I was going to buck the party and go with principle and I was going to oppose him. And boy, I got some heated phone calls from his volunteers, his staff, and eventually the future congressman himself called my cell phone in my truck on the way up here uh, tonight. I had a witness for this. I'm not making this up. I put it on speakerphone. Tyler heard the whole thing. We got him to commit to not only absolutely support term limits, but guys, by blogging him and by pressuring him and by hitting the politicians, we actually got him to commit to self-limiting to 12 years. That's six terms. God was my, was my witness there. Tyler was my witness. We, were, we, we witnessed it. He says he doesn't want to advertise that because he, he's not real happy about making the commitment. But uh, for some reason, uh, I think when you approach a politician uh, who's in a tight race, America, when you put his feet to the fire and you hold him accountable, you're doing your job. That is our job as citizens. So Morgan Philpott is going to release it tomorrow. He promised me. He's going to release this on his website tomorrow as a policy statement on his website, and he's going to conduct a press release. You promised me that. And if not, I told him, we're going to blog the hell out of him. Republican or Democrat, I don't care. Bring him on. We're going to go after these guys. And we're going to make sure that every single one of these people in Washington remembers one thing. They work for us. They're the subordinate. The Constitution, as Mike, the newly, uh, uh, the future Senator Mike Lee says, the Constitution is the playbook. It's the instruction manual. And we need to start getting back to that, uh, to the Constitution. We actually moved a vote tonight. I feel like we impacted a vote on next year's introduction to the Term Limits Amendment in Congress. Now, we've got other pointers that I think will be stronger than Mr. Philpott, but he satisfied me. It's strong enough of a commitment to where I don't have to oppose a conservative who I agree with on everything else. He's a constitutional conservative on a lot of issues. He's a, a proven tax cutter. He's a fiscal conservative that we need in Washington. But you know what? We have to draw some priorities. And that's one thing that uh, you know, you're going to see here on Knockout. We're going to get politicians, callers on, online. We're going to we're gonna go after issues in order of priority. And I think we, you know, it, not everything is of equal value. Not every issue is of equal importance. If we don't start with a balanced budget amendment, first, term limits amendment, and second, I personally kind of think that hand in hand. We, we, we need them both now. Balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. Does anybody disagree with that? I mean, I don't know any common sense person who disagrees with that, Tyler. Do you? This will be on YouTube. Comment on, you, on our YouTube page, on our channel. Um, you'll see this posted and reposted throughout Twitter, Facebook, and the blogs, and so forth. Post, comment, please, reply to us. Can you think, if, if I'm wrong, tell me where I'm wrong. If you think we don't need a balanced budget amendment, we can just trust Congress, or maybe we can just get a new Congress of a different party, and they will balance the budget. Guys, we've tried this. We've seen this movie before. 
Um, we cannot allow Congress to police itself. Um, but you, you guys, with these Facebook posts, can move the world. A simple Facebook post really can move the world. I've committed future senators and current sitting senators, Orrin Hatch. Uh, you know, um, Bob Bennett is now gone. Um, and we didn't have a lot of success influencing him, but we removed him uh, as a Republican Party here in Utah. So I will say this. I'm a conservative first. Republican is, is, is uh, not even second. It's a very distant loyalty to party. I have virtually no loyalty to party. I put country, uh, constitution ahead of either party. And frankly, I think we've got, uh, you know, two parties that have really been a false choice for some time. So that's what this show is going to be about, and you're going to be a part of it.